All right, well, we begin with a tragedy that has left Americans across the nation speechless. It's being called the worst mass killing at a school in American history. This morning, around 9.30, a gunman entered Shady Hook Elementary School in Newton, Connecticut, and opened fire. There's been some confusion today as to who the shooter was. Police say this evening that 20-year-old Adam Lanza is the person responsible for the killings. His 24-year-old brother, Ryan, was at... Scenes like this have been flooding the television screens across the nation since the chaos began. At least 26 people are dead, as many as 20 were children. Two handguns were found on the scene and two more in the suspect's car. Law enforcement officials have said that the shooter is among the dead. The details of this story are still murky at best, but we can expect to hear more about this story in future days and weeks. Earlier, I sat down with RT correspondent Liz Wall, who grew up very close to today's shooting location. She's been speaking to her family and friends back in Connecticut, and she brought me their account of what's happening. I know that I just got off the phone with my mom. She has um, friends um, whose children go to that very school, um, just picked up the children. There's a lot of um, information. What they are hearing, my mom says, is that this, this, this guy, uh, the gunman, worked at the school um, and he was fired this morning. Um, one of the victims um, was his mother, who was a kindergarten teacher, and, um, and shot, open fired on uh, all the kids in the classroom. And Liz, what we do know also is that you're from this community. Can, can you describe the community to me? I mean, is it quiet? Is it peaceful? Is, is something like this to be expected? Do you have lots of violence? Um, no. <laughs> this is, we are talking about a rural suburban town. This is Newtown, Connecticut, a town of about 27,000 people. Um, people move here because they, they, the schools are known for being very good. Um, not too long ago, the high school there in Newtown, Connecticut, got this um, some kind of prestigious award for being a school of excellence. Um, the schools in the area are known for being very good, and that's why families move there. They go there because they think that this is a safe place to um, to raise your children. And um, it's absolutely not a place where you hear about gang violence or gun violence, or um, you never really hear about things like this. And um, I mean, you always say that it's not going to happen to you, it's not going to happen to your community. Um, and I would, this is the last place that I would think um, you would hear about one of the most heinous uh, mass shootings in U.S. history is um, in this community. It's, it's really um, shocking. And I know that you've been in contact with your family back home. You just said you talked a little bit about that. Can you uh, talk a little bit more about what you've been hearing from them? What kind of news you personally have been getting from your family and friends? Well, I think at first, um, w when the news broke this morning, it was just everybody was really confused, everybody calling each other. Um, I know I have a niece and nephew in a nearby school district, and everybody just kind of um, calling to make sure that everybody's OK. Um, I don't think anybody was expecting that it would be of this magnitude. Um, so I, I think people are just shocked, um, don't really know what to make of this. And also, President Obama just came out to speak about this a little bit earlier. He said something needs to be, uh, needs to be done about this. And, and a couple of other little pieces of information came out as well. I mean, sh should we expect something to be done in, recent, in, in upcoming days and weeks? Well, um, I think one of the things that President Obama did say um, is that it's it's not the time to to talk about um, the politics behind this, or um, it's not even necessarily time as of today to talk about um, a, to have a debate about guns. I think that first off, it's going to be taking care of these families, um, and taking care of the wounded, and, and helping out these families, and helping these families pick their pieces up, uh, you know, pick their lives back up. Um, I think without a doubt, we are already seeing uh, across social social media that it, it's already erupting a debate about gun control. Um, I think whether or not you are for guns or against guns, I think this is going to reignite a debate and, and really cause people to take a look at, at the situation that we do have in this country. I know that gun, um, p those in, that are for gun control are going to say this is an example of um, the ease of being able to obtain weapons in this country. Those um, that are for having guns are going to say, you know, maybe um, if the principal or, or security was on school that had guns, they could have shot the gunmen dead 
and save the lives of these children. Um, it's definitely a really difficult um, topic. Uh, so we're not going to find any answers today, but I can say for sure that it's going to um, it's going to spark a very very heated debate about um, about uh, gun control in the country. We'll have to see how that plays out. We know that um, the politicians have kind of set politics aside today, and everybody's kind yeah, of coming together should, around this should. community. Um, now, Liz, I, this is obviously very close to your house. I also had a personal experience, too. Um, we've had, I, I lived a block away from Columbine High School, so my family and my community went through through that. And then also we saw this Aurora shooting. How, what steps are going to happen in the future um, to build this community up? I mean, I've experienced and seen what happened after Columbine High School and the years and years and years that it's take for that community to heal. What do you think the next steps are going to be for your community? Oh, gosh. Uh, I don't know. I think it's gonna um, it's gonna take a lot of um, counseling. I mean, I can't even imagine being an elementary to school shooting uh, in, ele in elementary school, just you know, on your way, just a normal day at school, and um, and having this massive atrocity happen. Um, I think it's gonna take a long time for these wounds to heal. I mean, I don't know. I don't have an answer. It's 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 uh, I don't know. Well, one thing we do know is that parents across the country and across the world are going to be holding their kids just a little bit uh, tighter tonight. Yeah. Um, and it's such a tragedy. It happened right before the holiday season. RT correspondent Liz Wall, thank you for bringing us that update. Thank you.